the, but let I me, think we're, uh, we haven't gotten to that point yet of spelling out, uh, crossing every T and dotting every I, and we won't get there unless we accept the baseline proposal, and then we go into the minutia. To, to well, be and I think that's how we got the Affordable well, Care Act. To, to be um, Mr. Let's, the, uh, let's hear from Mr. Galvin. Sign it. We'll yeah. sign it and read it later. Well, uh, to be right. to be, can you hear me okay on this one? Um, to be to be fair to the Jaworski Group, uh, first of all, they put in a very detailed, more than one page, very detailed proposal, which included personal financial information that was very significant, and that's not publicly disclosed, but it, but it's in the binders all of you have. Um, we asked for a second proposal called the price proposal, which was purely the financial, so that you could look at the technical proposal, make a judgment on are they qualified before opening the price proposal, then to see the higher low bids, to try to separate the two decisions, so to speak. So to be fair to them, it wasn't a one-pager. It was a very detailed thing with personal financial information. And that this is what you brought us the first time around. That's the pricing proposal. The, the yeah. technical proposal is well, the yellow binder, know, the orange binder. But know, I, I just want to be fair to Personal financials and business financials, it, that's all fine. Deal. Well, the, but the, this was the proposal. That's what? the financial proposal. Yeah. If, if there was a $2 million check in there, it would only be one page, but it would still be worth something. So I, I, I don't Made mean to be flippant. Certified. But, but the, I want to be fair to them and all. They're not here to defend themselves, but the, the second issue is... Did you is, ask them to come, Matt? Yes, I did. But and it, what happened? I think they feel the walls in our court to respond to their proposal. So they're not here the, to answer questions. So right. the, the other point I want to make to, to defend them is... They made a proposal. They responded to an RFP that did clearly state these would be your responsibilities. This would be reflected in the lease. It was all very clear, but we never got to that point. So to your point, uh, Councilman uh, uh, Sarah, it would have been detailed. It would have been airtight. The, the city has our council legal representation to make sure it would have been done. And they either would have done it or they wouldn't. But I don't think it's fair to them to say it was vague and they were trying to hide something and, you know, there was... I, I just don't think that was fair. Well, so what's fair to them is, <laughs> what's fair to them is that they they have not had a conversation with you since when's the last time you spoke to them? The uh, it's about a month or so that uh, we asked, you know, if they want to sharpen their pencil again, and they just want to let it. That was, let that was so yeah, before right. a month ago. And they, but they, their that was last their, year. Their last position was that their proposal still stands. The deposit's still in your hands. They still you know, want to move forward. You know, we were the ones that, that probed and asked them to sharpen the pencil and raise the issue of a shorter term. They originally proposed, met our proposal of the 24-year term. They might be willing to go back to that. that so the, the, they were, I, I, I'm just trying to be fair to them. They're not here to defend that. And I think it's, it's, you know, it wasn't a one-pager. It was a very detailed thing. And I, I felt that needed to be said. And for the, for the audience's benefit, the members of council were advised by our attorney of exactly the position that Jaworski had most recently taken, which is that they needed to see something from council before they would invest the further effort and resources and energy in sitting down and negotiating an actual contract. They needed to see that we wanted to give them not, not something binding because it would not be a legally binding contract. If we voted right now to go ahead with the Jaworski proposal, that means only that we've authorized our attorney and whomever else to sit down with their representatives and see if they can fashion a contract that will be brought back to council and it will be the contract that will be voted on. That's where they left it. So let's not have any lingering impressions that because they're not here that somehow that's, that should be held against them. They made it very clear to us what it was that they needed to see from us. You don't have to do that, but I, I see absolutely no downside in doing it. 